Welcome back to The Division 2. In this video we are going through the patch notes for title update 7 and episode 3. They've been updated to reflect that the level 30 character boost is now live. And it says welcome to the patch notes for title update 7 episode 3. Episode 3 concludes our year 1 content for the Div 2. However in so doing sets the stage for the future of the game. In episode 3... Agents will deploy to Coney Island with hopes to secure Vitaly Chenenko, who is a virologist from the Black Tusk forces. Chenenko, who had ties to Amherst, the creator of the Green Poison, cannot be in the wrong hands. The missions do not all go according to plan though, as a villain from the past returns with diabolical plans for humanity's future. So it's the standard content we normally get with the episodes. We have two new main missions, one being Coney Island Ballpark, the other being Coney Island Amusement Park. Then we have an image of the Firewall Specialization. Firewall is our sixth specialization and is equipped with a K8 Jetstream Flamethrower. Additionally, Firewall is equipped with the Striker Shield, allowing for an aggressive playstyle. Then we have the two classified assignments, Detention Center Rescue and Nightclub Infiltration. And I will, as I used to do, I will be doing collectible guides for those. So if you are interested in pretty much anything Division 2, I'm going to be covering a lot of this game. If you are interested, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on bell notifications. Then we have four new weapons in the game. The first up being the exotic Chameleon Assault Rifle. Then your standard high-end weapons we have, I believe that's the UIC-15 Mod 2, the Honey Badger and the G28. For hardcore mode, disconnecting from the server while being in a downed state will now cause the character to perish. Downed hardcore agents will now automatically decline group invites and leaving a group while in a down state will now cause the character to perish as well. So I believe there might have been glitches involved with grouping and leaving groups to save your character, but that's not going to work anymore. So the gameplay changes, players will now respawn at the last checkpoint in a mission when restarting the game, and they've added additional exotic weapons to the wall in the shooting range, which is pretty cool, because I believe I have every single exotic weapon, so if they've extended it enough to see them all, then I will be able to see all of my exotics on the wall. We have a few balancing changes, these are all nerfs. Status effect diminishing returns have been adjusted to reduce the duration of immune effects. And then there's two PvP multipliers that have been nerfed. Shotguns reduced by 20% and double barrel shotguns reduced by 40 Then in the store, the Warlords of New York expansion is now live for pre-purchase. Included with the purchase is the new level 30 character boost that is going live today with episode 3. This is primarily designed to allow new and returning players to have an option to jump right into the narrative of the expansion if they so desire. We are also introducing a purchasable level 30 character boost for 2000 premium credits which is about 20 euros or your regional equivalent. That is mainly offered to players that wish to stay at base game but catch up right with the end game as well as for players that want to get their alts to the level 30 end game faster. Since the level 30 boost is bundled with the Warlords of New York purchase, players owning the expansion will not be able to purchase the level 30 character boost. So you're either going to spend, I think it's £25 for the expansion, not 100% sure on that, or it's going to be about £15-£20 just for a character boost. They've also mentioned here, level 30 boost is currently not available for purchase on PlayStation 4, and will become purchasable on the platform at the same time as the Warlords of New York expansion. So I believe that's PC and Xbox are in the clear for buying the level 30 character boost, but not PS4 just yet, although that will be available on March the 3rd. Textiles are now live. When receiving a duplicate from a standard apparel cache, players will now receive textiles that can be used to directly purchase a wide variety of apparel items in the store. Then the rest of the patch notes are all bug fixes. I'm not going to go through them all in this video. So what I will do is leave a link in the description to the actual patch notes so that you guys can take a look. But just going through the top couple, they fixed the bug that caused explosive damage to shields to not correctly scale with the PvP modifier. They fixed an issue that could cause a crash in conflict modes under certain circumstances. And they fixed an issue that allowed fast travel into off-site activities despite a player in the group not having access. This prevented all party members from accessing off-site activities. There's another maybe 20 or possibly 30 in there. So if you do want to check those bug fixes out, then there will be a link in the description. 
But that is going to cover it. That is the patch note so far. So we have episode 3 today with title update 7. There will be videos coming for the classified assignments. I'm going to go through the actual way to get the exotic chameleon assault rifle. We might take a look at the other weapons that have been introduced into the game. We'll cover the main missions. We'll cover the specialization. I'm pretty much going to be covering as much of this as possible. And then when March 3rd hits, we obviously have the big New York expansion. And I will be covering everything I possibly can because I'm so hyped for that expansion. But that's going to do it for the video. Let me know your thoughts and stuff in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.